This was probably a long day for the band. Oh, they're having a break. You know what? I gotta just restart the camera. Hold on a second here. Okay.
All right, so that was Little by Little, and next is Codex. What to say about that song, Little by Little? Um, I relate to, very strongly to Tom as a songwriter. I was influenced by their early music. I was, as a songwriter, as a, com as a composer. I really kind of feel uh, a bit of a kinship with, with, and maybe it wasn't only Tom, but I just feel like it is a little bit. I feel like a bit of a brother in a, in a sense as far as how he approaches music. And what I mean is that he probably worked a long time to get those riffs together, you know, to put things together. They really fall together and they're very simple at the end, after you've kind of refined it, you know, you've reduced the melody and the, the, everything, all the components of this composition into its basic elements. You've kind of gotten rid of all the excess stuff. And I think when you confront the public with something that's really, really basic they they can easily overlook it and not realize the greatness of it because they're so used to being you know it's like s movies and sp splashy of colors and effects and all this you know it's what what makes a movie great is the fundamental element which is the story and the characters to me um if you're gonna liken radiohead to a film uh, or a filmmaker it would be somebody who who knows how to reduce things to their basic, basic essence. I don't know. Uh, okay, let's continue. So now it's Codex. By the way, the names of the songs really capture the songs, like Little by Little was a good example. It really...
Another great thing about this band is they know how to be to the point and brief in a way. They're not they're not writing sidelong songs. <laughs> but you know, like the progressive acts of the 70s are making sidelong songs and some of them adapted to the 80s by figuring out, hey, why don't we make all those statements but just condense them into a th five minute, six minute song. Um, I feel like um, Radiohead are good at songs that have a lot of substance, but they're not really long. And, and that's really cool. And somebody pointed out, I think it was Rick Beato in a recent song, he was showing how all the Beatles songs, the songs that we grew up with, I did, are incredibly short, like two minutes and stuff. And I didn't realize that. In my mind, I'd never it never occurred to me. One of my favorite songs by the Beatles is like two minutes and 20 seconds or something. You know, you just don't even realize that it was so short. And yet it was substantial, and it's a song that stands for history. So it's kind of, you know, sometimes it's good to have long songs, sometimes it's not. I think, in general, Radiohead knows how to edit themselves well. It's still will be afraid of it, but it's one that I'm not really Yeah, all right, I'm afraid. A little bit afraid. Yeah, well, it's because it's like, it's a good, you know, it, it works so well. It's all that's all about. Okay. Yeah. Give that a shake. Yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> Don't worry. We're going to be on to the next show. We're going to be on to the next show. We're going to be on to the next show. We're going to be on to the next show. We're going to be on to the next show. We're going to be on to the next show. We're going to be on to the next show. We're going to be on to the next show. We're going to be on to the next show. We're going to be on to the And here it is, separator. I'm gonna take this thing off. Oh. It's getting warm in here.
so I, I just, I'm not going to make any comments. I, I made a few comments during the song. We'll just keep rolling. I just feel like keeping rolling. Other to say, other than to say, if you didn't catch it, I thought that that song sounded like a sunset song. So like, it sounds like the last song they could put on an album. And I don't know the top of my head what the actual song's order was on the actual album. Let me know. I'll have to look at it later. But was that song the last final song on the album? I'm just curious. For part three, click the link the top left part of the screen, and also the link is in the description below. For part three, click the link the top left part of the screen, and also the link is in the description below.